This is all based on the Schellinger system, which is based on mathematic logic. Uh, I studied it many years ago. I studied it for about a year and a half. But really, in reality, it takes <laughs> several years to go through the whole system. But here's the book. One of the books is two volumes. Uh, in fact, here's a picture of Joseph Schillinger. Anyway, uh, it starts out in the theory of rhythm. It's the first chapter. After that follows the theory of pitch scales, which we've skipped. I've gone ahead to uh, tonal cycles, which are chord progressions. And from there we'll get into uh, chord structure. But the first uh, Chord, chord structures are built upwards, but the tonal cycles are built downwards in thirds. That's an, an expansion of the first scale. So you have uh, so forth like that. And that's called a har harmony scale. Okay. So your first that gives you the cycle in third. And that's, now we're doing the bass clef here. That's a cycle of the third. The cycle of the fifth is you're going to skip that first third. Instead of going down to here, you'll go from here to F. So this is what you end up with. And by the way, it doesn't matter whether you go down to this F or this F up here. It's whatever is the most convenient uh, which one to go to. After that is the cycle of the seventh. So you start on C. Well, instead of going all the way down to D, you can just go right on up. Now, if we combine those, and you have a C3 plus a C5, this is what you end up with. Now, here's a C3 plus a C7. Here's a C5 plus a C3. Those are binomial cycles. And it goes on. You know, here's a C5 plus a C7. Seven plus the C three and a C seven plus the C five. Okay, and then you can go to trinomial, Tri, uh, trinomial cycles. So you're doing a C seven plus a C. Three plus C five. Mind you, these are just chord progressions. We haven't even gotten into chord structure yet. You, and when you get into that, there's diatonic and then there's symmetric. So that's why this, this is so comprehensive. I mean, there's so much material to work with. Here's a C seven plus C three plus C five. the idea. Here's C5 plus C, C7 plus C3. Anyway, it's 
it's a lot of material to work with. I did a couple more, but you over here, but you get the idea of it. It's uh, just a lot of material to work with. Those are just bass notes or chord progressions. And later on, when we get into chord structures, we'll first do it in root position. Then you get into the different, uh, uh, you know, third position, fifth position, um, and so forth. Anyway, that's it for now.